Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh. Our meta gang, let's go. Got one. Got two. Oh my god. Got him, he said. Oh my god, dude. Player. Oh shit! Oh my god, he's on the left! <laughs> oh, he, hit him now, he's healing, he's healing. Where is he? He's in the corner. In the corner. Got him, he's dead. Nice, let's go. Good call. Welcome back, Raiders. Today, the wipe just got announced, so officially Tarkov is resetting. This video is one of the new pre-wipe events that I had a ton of fun playing. Essentially, what's happening is that you spawn into a map with a lethal toxin that will kill you in roughly 8 minutes, unless you pick up an antidote stim that can be obtained in two ways. Either you grab a stim from an airdrop, or you kill one of the six bosses on the map. That's right. All the bosses were on all the maps for this event. So of course, I had to visit my favorite map, Shoreline, and kill them all in one run. Now admittedly, Shoreline is probably one of the easier ones since they are pretty spread out. But, if you aren't efficient with the kills, you won't get the antidote in time and you'll die of lethal toxin because there's a lot of ground to cover. So it really was a race against the clock. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next wipe. And we start with Sherman again. Oh boy. We don't have any T7s, so just a thermal and a dream right now. Killing all the bosses. Rewipe is definitely a fun chaotic time. It's not to say my favorite time of wipe for sure. I think early wipe is definitely my favorite. But pre-wipe is kind of fun just because you get to try all the things that you probably didn't get to try out. Okay, that might have been Sherman. Took an extra bullet. Yeah, that sounds like a regular scab. I think... Okay, I think we got Sherman. This might be just a guard. And down. Ooh. Okay, he took more bullets than Sherman did. Just the one package over there by resort. We have to go that way anyway, to be honest. I can't see the other package. It must have dropped early on the other side of the map. So, I guess the plan is to go to resort then. We'll kill Killa and Tigila next. At least we got Sherman out early. This med and his SPDS always get me. Let's get, grab that stim so we're good for a little bit. There it is. Antidote acquired. Let's see, what's our health out of here? Oh, we got a little bit of time. There's the package, right on point. Doesn't seem like there's anybody around here. This is pretty huge. This gives me a little bit of a time buffer here. A box, come on, hello, hello. Antidote number two. Alright, let's head for Tegila next then. He's usually in East Wing. Another airplane coming in. We've got two stims. We don't need to worry about this one. I think that was just a scav, actually. It's not Tegila. Oh man, I completely missed his arm. He's not pushing. Um. Tequila? Watch check. Hello? Is he just broken? Okay. I feel like I kind of cheated there. <laughs> Although I have noticed Tequila is the most broken one in this in this event. He just doesn't work on any other map except Factory, I guess. Actually, we're gonna take on Killa next. Let's take let's use Tequila's helmet. That might save my life. Possibly. Actually it depends if he has BS or Angolic. We'll find out. Alright, so he can be from admin. Oh. There he is. I was gonna say he was in West Wing too, but no matter. I've got a thermal, so I can't peek the windows. We gotta draw him back. 
All right, if we can draw him here, get him to just come up the main staircase or something. Oh, there he is. My god, sir. Okay, I'm gonna be fair, that was probably not the best way to fight kill up. Okay, so that's two in this building done. We can get out of here. Next on the list, I guess, is Gluhar. Closer to power. What's our antidote at? Oh, 245. We're good. We got time. And we've got two, three extra stims now, actually. Beauty. This is efficient. Alright, I think we are in the home stretch kind of thing. I'm more comfortable with these enemies, and they're all outdoors. It feels really weird, though, wearing Tequila's helmet outside on Shoreline. I always have headphones on Shoreline. Stim health is okay. Oh, another package. Okay, we are totally good on stims this time, if this isn't checked. Sniper scav with a full auto gun? Good night. It's kind of rude there, Sniper Scav. Alright, so Gluar is minion somebody. Oh. I think I might have got him in one shot there. Well, M62s will do the trick there. Kind of see the other one in that. Uh, it's kind of tough. Let's push up a little bit. Either way, there should only be one left. We could take him. I already checked Spine Rock, but. Yeah, nobody... no heat sigs at least. Is he dead? Mm. Now I think he's dead? I think that... now I think he dropped. Alright, Gluhar down. Oh, this is a guard. Got those blue pants. Not glue boy. So it's probably the other body. Oh, the first body then that I hit was probably Gluhar. Oh, wait. That's Sniper Scav's dead body. Huh. Oh, hey. Look. There's Gluhar. Oh, my God. I just got faked out by that. I can't believe that. 3,000 hours in this game. Got faked out by a dead body. But all over that mask. All over that mask. Oh, I didn't even notice the hearing gets affected. You can't really tell the difference when you have headphones, but without it, I can hear a very clear muffle. Alright, let's check the front quadrant here. He usually likes to hang out just by the fence. Might even be able to peek the fence, actually. Nothing down hall. Oh, there we go. Alright, one down. There we go. That actually might be him entirely. I don't hear him. Usually he yells if you kill a guard. The one downside at thermal is you can't really tell what you're shooting. You're just shooting something. Yeah, I don't see the guard anywhere. Maybe someone else killed the guard and left Sani. If this was even Sani, actually. Where? Where's the body? Is that on the other side of the fence? Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, it's Sani. There we go. Oh, snap. We should probably heal. Toxin. I don't know how close that was, but I, I completely forgot. That'd be so sad to die to Toxin right now when we have so many Sims. Alrighty, confirm again. Yep, Sanitar. We're good. Alright, one more to go. On to Rishala. Alright, Rishala is actually kind of fun. And he actually makes the most sense. He's on this secluded island, which for him makes sense. You know, drug lord just off in their little corner, hidden away from the world. I like that placement. Really good spot for him. I didn't account for drop off. Okay, so that was probably his guard. There's no way Rochelle is going to stand out in the open there. I think he tried to nade me there. 
I think next wipe, I'm gonna run around with the tequila helmet a lot more. This just sounds so much nicer in my ears. Wait, I did reset my poison, right? Yeah, we're good. Alright, Rochella. You and your, your little shed. Last time I came here, there was a guy in the corner here. Nope. Nobody there this time. Oh, there he is. Oh, I almost repeat too early. Look, I'm pretty sure half of those missed. Just like broke the wood at the back. Let's go around the right side. Oh! Oh, jeez, that was... I didn't even hear him move out here. That's all six. I'm going to take that mustache as a prize. GG's. All six bosses dead in one raid. I got really lucky. Just avoided all the players. That was really my goal anyway. I didn't really want to fight players. That was fun. I like hunting these bosses with this toxin thing. Maybe they'll make it like a, a small game mode at some point. Either way, great pre-wipe event. I had a lot of fun with this one. Definitely hope they bring it back again. Or honestly, maybe, maybe it should come back as an actual event during wipe. Like an event that really shakes things up and makes you think or have to do something different from the norm. I think that's really good. It'll definitely be a bigger challenge when everything isn't cheap and gear actually has worth. Thank you.